When recycling programs fail, it's usually because people seem to lack incentive to follow through. But one town I visited has come up with a solution that keeps its citizens invested in the environment. Each morning as the sun comes up over Everett, Massachusetts, Joe Baresi heads out on a recycling run. Lately, he's noticed a big change. On an average day here, yep. I picked up three tons. We're bringing out anywhere between 10 and 13 tons now. For years, officials of this Boston suburb had tried in vain to increase the rate of recycling, which was, in the words of one city leader, absolutely pitiful. People just aren't going to recycle because you tell them they've got to save the atmosphere. Right. Uh, Earth is our only home. Now they think they've found just the ticket by offering residents financial rewards for recycling. It's like a frequent flyer program, but this one is for your plastic, glass, paper, and cans. You just throw it all in one big thing and put it on the sidewalk and you get rewards for it. Residents earn points based on the weight of their recycling bins. It's recorded at a truck by an electronic ID chip, and the points can be converted into discounts and rebates at dozens of local and national retailers up to $45 a month. Not a bad incentive in such dreary economic times. It's marvelous. Susan Marino fills her bin to the top and trades her points to satisfy her caffeine habit. You do what you got to do to help the environment and everything, so... And, and get some free coffee. Coffee, yes. <laughs> Everett's program was pioneered by Recycle Bank, a four-year-old company that is rapidly expanding across the country. It's a win-win situation for them, whether it's the local economy, whether it's the household, whether it's the particular trash company, and of course, the city itself. Since Recycle Bank came to town, the average household here now recycles 10 times more, and the garbage haul has been reduced by 11 tons a day which saves thousands of dollars in fees the city pays to dump trash at an incinerator. By avoiding that, we're saving a great deal of money. And so far, the results are proving that what's good for the planet can also be good for the bottom line. And we should say that the idea of cash for recycling is actually taking off across the country. There are now 13 states participating in the recycling bank. Well, that's it for Focus Earth. To learn more about our stories, log on to planetgreen.com slash Earth. I'm Bob Woodruff. As always, thanks for joining us.